Hello everybody, my name is Will Carmack. In today's After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you all the different ways to export something as um, basically a PNG video, as an alpha layer, something with zero background. Uh, we wanna be able to export things with no background so we can just put them on top of anything. And by the way, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. So here I am in After Effects with Jason Derulo here, and I want to export this clip with um, no background. Because if we take off the transparency here, you can see that the background is completely transparent. And by the way, before we start getting into this, there are three ways you can export with uh, no background. One of them is through Premiere, two through After Effects. Let's start with the After Effects version. So we have our clip that we want to export with no background. We'll hit Control M to bring it into our media queue. Boop. And we'll see uh, here in the render queue, this blue option that says high quality. Let's click on that. So the first way is to export it as an AVI file. So if we go to format and bring it to AVI, we come down to channels under video output and the option we want to where we have an alpha background. So a transparent background, plus all the colors of our image, all the pixels that are us, the thing that isn't transparent is RGB. So we always wanna do RGB plus alpha if we wanna have uh, our characters on a transparent background. So an AVI file, if we hit okay uh, and export that, boop, you can see here it is rendering on that transparent background because I didn't put that there. That's the default transparent background. So you can export on an AVI file. This is like the Burger King fast food of the alpha exports uh, because usually you wanna use something that doesn't lose any quality, like a QuickTime file. And so, let's learn how to do this with a QuickTime file, shall we? So I stopped that export. So instead of a custom AVI file, let's click on the output module once again down here. Uh, we'll change the format from AVI to QuickTime. So instead of an AVI file, it'll export as an MOV file, which everyone is way more comfortable with. So, if we change it from QuickTime Apple ProRes 422, which is the default, we have to switch it from Apple ProRes 422 to Apple Re ProRes 44444. Did I say 44s or 54s? Whatever. And then select that and click OK, and you'll see that this QuickTime option has RGB plus alpha. So now, um, if we click render, you can see here that it is exporting against that perfect transparent background. Bam, best noise in the world. And so now the last way to export is in Adobe Premiere. And the best way to show you how to do that is to open this up in Adobe Media Encoder because it has the exact same export function that you can use with Adobe Premiere. Sorry guys, I'm literally on one today. So uh, if I click on the H.264, so now we have this basically opened up in Adobe Premiere. This should look uh, familiar to everyone. So, so up here you'll see that the format is H.264. Let's change so that's a quick time and then we'll go down to video codec and let's change that from apple prores 422 hq to animation that's these are the two important steps you have to switch the format to quick time and then you have to switch the video codec to animation because if you'll see down here it gives you the option to render it at h no uh 8b this is basically out rgb plus alpha this this right here is exporting in premiere on an alpha channel so you want to take it off of 8b BPC and switch it to 8 BPC plus alpha. And so that is how you would export this in Adobe Premiere with no background. And then you just hit play, bam, beautiful. And a media encoder isn't showing the transparent background, but this is Jason Derulo as a transparent layer getting exported with no background. And bam, that is how you export all the different ways on an alpha channel. Keep in mind, this is super important if you're ever working on green screen stuff. Do your green screen animations and then use these ways to export it before continuing your animation. Hope you learned something uh, today, guys. And of course, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. From online stores and marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. Let's say you wanna be a photographer. Well, Squarespace has the best feature for that ever. You can upload all of your photos to their portfolios and galleries. This function on their website lets you display your work to the world in award-winning designer templates. So it's a good place to consolidate all of your photo work so people can see it and be like, hmm, I wanna hire this man, slash woman, slash person. Next, let's say uh, you like analytics. Squarespace has tons of them. You wanna see 
<laughs> when people come to your website, buy your products. Do you hear that? This exported the clip I was rendering. And they make it really easy because they have so many charts and graphs and it makes dumb people like me understand numbers. Squarespace Analytics. And lastly, Squarespace lets you stay connected. You can embed all of your social medias into their platform so when people come to your website, they can also find you on like Instagram. If you're a fashion blogger, throw that stuff in there. Or even your SoundCloud. Put your SoundCloud link in your website. So SoundCloud rappers rejoice you have to sign up with Squarespace. Best part is I got you hooked up with a discount code. So if you go to squarespace.com slash Will Carmack, you'll get 10% off your first website or domain. Thanks for sponsoring this video, Squarespace. I hope everyone learned something today. And where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day. I messed with the finger movement. <laughs>